Hey there. You already know that when you add a positive number to a number on the number line, we move towards the right. For example, if we add 4 to 3, we get 7, which is towards the right. But when we add 0 to 3, the number doesn't move anywhere and it still stays the same. The number doesn't change. And the same applies if you add it 1 or 29 or minus 14 or to 0 itself. All these numbers remain exactly the same as they were before. So, when 0 is added to any whole number or integer, number doesn't change. This is why 0 is called the additive identity. The word identity might be confusing. It basically means that it leaves the number identical. It doesn't change its identity. It is actually related to the number that it is affecting rather than 0 itself. Additive identity 0 doesn't change the identity of the number it is added to. But does this work for all rational numbers? Remember, whole numbers and integers are also rational numbers, but there are numbers which are not integers but are still rational. For example, like 1 by 3. If you take 1 by 3 and try to add 0, let's try and see what happens. 1 by 3 plus 0, if you take LCM, which is 3, we get 1 plus 0 by 3, that would give you 1 plus 0 is 1, so 1 by 3. So, you get back the original number 1 by 3. You can try that with any rational number, which is a fraction. For example, like 2 by 3 plus 0 gives you 2 by 3. Minus 6 by 7 plus 0 gives you minus 6 by 7 for negative fractions. And 0 plus 15 by 8 will give you 15 by 8. The order of addition doesn't matter because addition is commutative. So, this clearly shows that when 0 is added to any rational number, the number doesn't change. The rational number maintains its identity. This means 0 is an additive identity for all rational numbers. Here's a bonus question. Where in real life do you see the additive identity at work? Think about bank accounts, temperature or sports scores. That makes things interesting, doesn't it? Can you think of a situation where adding 0 actually matters? Take a shot. I'll see you next time.